going on guys welcome back to another noob review video my name's craig and i'm joined again by my good friend and colleague mr paul say hello paul hello paul and today we are reviewing just cause three about bloody time well it's only just come out give us chance well this game it was on the books for years well, basically yeah, i have it's waited not our fault that it's been delayed <laughs> well no it's not but i have been waiting for this game i love just cause 2 i really enjoy i still play it on the pc Fair enough. Um, this game, it's every little boy's dream. You get to play as a secret agent, well, not a secret agent, an agent from the movies. He's virtually indestructible. You get to jump on top of planes, fire rockets. Who doesn't enjoy doing that? So this is a bit like a nod to how far-fetched like a James Bond film would yeah. be. How the hero never dies and he always seems to find a way to blow something stupid up that shouldn't yeah. really be blown yeah. up. <laughs> basically yeah okay and we've only played about two hours or so of this game uh, haven't yeah we? this is the first couple of hours um this is basically literally the first time you get to uh, take control of rico you're on top of a plane you're trying to get into the country so this is actually the first part of the game and this yeah. is the actually the intro to the game that's literally, you're on top of this plane yeah then. literally it is can i just say that is one hell of a view it is, and we'll be discussing in a little bit how big this balloon game is, and it is big. Well, graphically, it looks superb. It's definitely up there with the better uh, better graphic games, I would it say. It is, but it's not without its faults. Um, I've come across, right in the first couple of hours of gameplay, one or two little things. I've had floating barrels, I've had floating cars. A couple of glitches, uh, then. Yeah, a couple of glitches, but as I say, I got this game three days before release, so this is a console, it's you not on the PC. You bastard. <laughs> Damn straight. Um, this is on the console, this is on the PS4, this one is. Yeah. Um, I would say, I was lucky enough to get it early. Um, here I am, in a tank, and just... Everything Fit. seems to be destructible. It is. Everything is destructible. That was one of the main selling points of the game, though, wasn't it? It was the fact that you could blow everything up oh, yeah. and destroy numerous amounts of stuff. I mean, you're about to cause one hell of an explosion right oh, now. Oh, well, yeah. Look at that. Blow up petrol. But the beauty thing about this game, and it actually does get explained, you, you're fighting with the rebels, basically, against a dictator. Okay. Um, there's not much more story than that, really. <laughs> basically, so the story's not the, the, the big part about no, it. No, no. The story is you've got to overthrow the dictator. Okay. That that is the story um, in the most ridiculous ways. Yeah, basically, you just saw me grapple into a bloke there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> with this is one of yeah, the not, not good on the realism, but, uh... <laughs> but yeah, this is one of the good game points. It's Rico. He's there with his grappling hook. He's got his parachute, and there's a new thing in this game is wingsuit, which we're going to show you a little bit for each of me flying around in a wingsuit in a minute. Okay, but I say everything is destructible. As you say. The guns are ridiculous. <laughs> Mini guns blow up everything. You seem to be having a lot of infinite ammo, I noticed on the... Um... Yeah, the stuff like when you get in helicopters, jets, and um, obviously on mountain guns like this, it is infinite ammo. But okay. when you're actually running around, you've got a limited ammo yeah. supply. You've yeah. got three grenades, which you can the readily picked up. Obviously, your rocket launcher, multiple weapons, um, they're all limited. But... Ammo's really easy to pick up, so you rarely run out. Okay, so there's always pickups available. Oh yeah, you just you're never, it's like never an, without ammo. Yeah, though. it's like any other game. You just run over the dead bloke and you pick up their ammo, Automatic or you can pickups. switch their guns up. That seems simple enough. Yeah. Now like. you see, I'm. I was actually saying to you, what the hell's are going on here? I didn't realise that yeah, little fellow was hidden there. <laughs> chopper firing rockets at you. Yeah. Well, to be fair, he didn't last long. He didn't. No. Right. This but, was this was a bit of fun and prattling around, wasn't it? Uh, it was. Scene? I didn't really take this seriously when I was playing it because I was just, you know, basically toying learning the controls. See there, I just grappled, hooked, and barreled into a gate and blew it up. Yeah. Now I'm just playing around. And this is what this game's about. It's not about the story. It's about how much fun you can have doing it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's not a game to be taken seriously. Oh, no, God, no. If you take it seriously, just don't buy it. <laughs> it's it's, it's going to be in great competition with the likes of GTA, isn't it, this game, I think? Yeah, it is, but GTA is a highly detailed game. It is. Um, everything, this is a little more spread out. Yeah. The map in this is like, what, about three, four times the size of GTA. I think it is, yeah. But with this one, it's about what you can destroy. And as I was trying to say before, the beauty thing about this, yeah, you're fighting as the rebels and the dictators. And it does say early on in the story that, you know, you blow up petrol stations, you blow up bridges, and they'll just appear back. Okay. But they do actually say our workmen are going to repair the stuff you damage. 
Oh, right. So okay. it doesn't get explained, which I kind of <laughs> yeah. like in a nice way. Yeah, yeah. It's you, a nice little touch. It is a nice little touch because, you know, most games, you blow something up, then you come back to it, you, you know, in two minutes, and it's built back up and it just appears back. You, you turn your back itself. on it, you turn around, it's back there. Yeah, it's like, spawned back. Just blown that up. This waits a little while, then rebuilds it. <laughs> Okay, but there's right. usually I've noticed a couple of workmen next to it. And oh, so it's sometimes it actually shows you the fact that it is uh, yeah. Rebuilt. Well, there's like workmen going, oh, and they go, oh, thanks, Rico, we've rebuilt this, which you destroyed. Yeah. And Did they rebuild it better, or no, no, it's still the same. You can still blow it up the same. That's unfortunate. It's not unfortunate. It's what. Well, well it's blow... unfortunate for the builder because you're just going to destroy it again. Oh yeah, damn right. <laughs> and I think you just got a bit of an achievement there. Well, achievement of the game, not yeah. actual uh, collectible there. So that was one of the objectives, yeah. I believe. But I say, I don't get me wrong, I do like this game, but there are downsides. Like with everything, there are downsides. And the downsides to me are the vehicle controls. My Yeah, I found them quite hard to control myself, to be honest. God, it, it's like need for speed driving. <laughs> it's, it's, if you're expecting a Grand Theft Auto style game, one minute, this is genius. <laughs> yeah. You can do stuff like that. And who doesn't enjoy doing that? Yeah. Did we set a couple of those on a cow and send it into the air? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> um, but going back to the point, the driving on it, if you're expecting like a Grand Theft Auto style driving experience, this is not the game for you. It's yeah. just not. It's more cartoony. Well, why drive when you can glide? You can. Look at this. This is a great invention they brought in. Yeah. The wingsuit. And we're going on to the map, see how size. When I showed you this, you thought, honestly... That was the map, didn't I you? I did. And then you started to scroll. <laughs> then I started to scroll out. And it just gets bigger and bigger and, and bigger. bigger. This That's game. a small part of the map compared to what else lies ahead. Yeah. Um, there is about 400 square miles. Wow. And we haven't explored any of that yet. Oh, we? no. We're just on literally that. on the first, first tiny island. little island. Yeah. And look at the scale of it. It's, just, it's ridiculous. That is the first tiny island that you're on. Yeah. And, and it is huge. And graphically, look at the water. It, you do think you're in a tropical island, don't yeah. you? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, just going from the scale alone, you could expect it to be full of glitches, but they're not that, they're not no. that many, I are say, they? They're there's very just minor. A, there's just a couple. But again, this is technically kind of a pre-release it's before they put the new updates on it exactly which should yeah. clean this up you always expect a, a, a few little um, yeah. mishaps in uh, the early don't releases. get me wrong it's nowhere near as bad as Assassin's Creed <laughs> oh, don't get me started no I'm not getting you started on that you can jump into weaponize things I mean they're uh, using a flat gun to blow up satellite dishes <laughs> just because I can isn't, isn't that overkill <laughs> no Zach nothing's overkill about this game <laughs> nothing's overkill about this game nothing's could you take over... down that tower if you wanted to um, no, but I can take the top of it off. Certain things are not destructible, but a lot is. Say these towers here, look at them just... They're just collapsing. They're going down like dominoes. They are, they are. Um, uh, you're um, going down like a domino. Well, right I'm going down, but this is what we're talking about. Special agent <laughs> survives a helicopter crash. <laughs> yeah, that, it's, that's kind of the far-fetched part of the movies. Right but it's, it's so enjoyable to do, especially this bit. I, I figured out how to do this. I heard about it. Look, boom... I think, right, I'm not having that. He's got one over on you. I think it's time to get even. Yeah. I'll say, and I heard you can do this with jets, and I cannot wait to find a jet to do this to. Flying over the top, parachute down, and get nicking it. Yep, so you just stole that chopper. I, I uh, did. I stole it. So so how, how would we sum up this game on, on a first play basis of what we've gathered so far? Graphics, I can't argue with them. No. They're, they're brilliant. It's beautiful. It's lovely to look at. It is. It is really nice. Very nice scenery. The gameplay is great. It really is. Rico himself, the gameplay is brilliant. You can get out, you can jump, you can shoot, um, you can parachute. The transitions between parachuting and gliding are effortless they really are the only downfall is the driving, is the, driving. Yeah. the the plane i haven't been in a plane yet but i'm hoping it's kind of like a helicopter the helicopters are very easy to control in comparison you saw me just then just shooting everything in my path but it's the vehicle controls which are a little bit of a letdown for me at the minute i'm sure i'll get used to them but i do kind of play a few games so i'm kind of jumping between this and grand theft Auto. so yeah it yeah. does get a little confusing um the length of the game is as long as you want it to be. The it's amount... It's going to take you a while yeah, to get through to be all fair, those islands. It's going to be like Just Cause to to get a really high achievement or to even platinum it, you're going to have to destroy absolutely everything. Oh, and yeah. it's going to take 
it's going to be a long-winded platinum. Long, or but it's going to be an enjoyable platinum, to be fair. Achievement, yeah. Story, as I said, the story is you got to throw the dictator. Yeah. But yeah, so we enjoyed it. Yeah, definitely.